Hello friends, today we will discuss about the NIT switch, normal inter transfer switch. It is sometimes called as trip transfer switch. In NIT switch, there are three positions normal, inter, and transfer. Switching angle between normal and inter is 45 degree, and again between inter and transfer is 45 degree. There are number of ways 11. In normal position, uh, in there are one, um, uh, one, and in inter position there are one contact, and normal inter position there are four contacts, and inter and transfer position there are four contacts, and in transfer position there are one contact, as shown in this figure. The contact distribution for NIT switch has been shown in this figure. For normal position, contact one and two is taken for annunciation circuit. For normal and inter position there are four contacts 3 and 4 taken for main cb tc1 circuit 5 and 6 for normal and inter position is taken for main cb tc2 circuit and 7 and 8 for normal and inter position taken for main cb closing interlock circuit 9 and 10 is taken for to annunciation circuit for inter and transfer position, there are again 4 contacts 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 11, 12 are taken for TBC, CB, TC1 circuit. For inter and transfer position, 13 and 14 is taken for TBC, CB, TC2 circuit. And 15 and 16 taken for TBC, CB, closing interlock circuit. 17, 18 is the spare contact. 19, 20 is for only interposition contact is not taken for any use 21 and 22 is taken for annunciation circuit it is contact for transfer position now to understand the uses of nit switch let us take a simple example as shown in this single line diagram here are two feeders and on bus transfer bay there are one main bus and one is transfer bus now feeder one is uh, supplying power through closing of 89b and 89l and closing of circuit breaker of its own bay 89b is the main bus side isolator 89l is the line side isolator 89t is the transfer bus side isolator now for maintenance purpose the cb required shutdown Therefore, in control room there are three panels, one is for feeder 1, one is for feeder 2 and one is for bus transfer panel. Now without shutdown, we have to switch over the feeder 1 to bus transfer bay. Therefore, there will be no power interruption. First, uh, we have to close 89T of transfer bus side isolator and also we have to close 89B and 89T of bus transfer bay then we have to move the NIT switch to enter position of feeder 1 panel after moving the NIT switch to enter position of its own panel then we can close the bus transfer breaker from control and relay panel of the bus transfer bay after closing the bus transfer breaker, the feeder one, uh, feeder one is uh, getting power from bus transfer bay as well as from main bus. Then we can take the shutdown of the circuit breaker of its own bay. After that, the breaker of its own bay can be switched off. An isolator 89B and 89A can be opened for maintenance of the circuit breaker and after that the NIT switch is transferred to the uh, transfer position so that the protection trip of the control and relay panel of feeder 1 can be transferred to the circuit breaker of the pass transfer bay since the trip of the protection panel of feeder 1 is transferred to the um, uh, breaker of the transfer bay that is why it is called trip transfer switch it is always to 
take the position to tra tra transfer position otherwise if it is remain in interposition if any fault occur the breaker of the own cb and also breaker of tbc cb will be tripped simultaneously now the normal inter contacts 3 and 4 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 has been shown in this diagram 3 and 4 and 5 6 is taken for cb protection trip of its own way to tc1 and tc2 respectively by means of 86 no contact 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 respectively whenever a fault occur uh, relay will send a trip signal to 86 86 will operate and will make its you know, contact to NC to energize the trip coil 1 and trip coil 2 as shown in this figure. Also 86 NC contact by means of NIT switch 7 and 8 taken to CB manual closed interlocking circuit. It is taken as whenever 86 is operate we cannot close the circuit breaker. Contacts 11, 12 and 13, 14 for inter and transfer position has been shown in this diagram. Here contacts 11, 12 and 13, 14 for inter and transfer position has been taken for bus transfer uh, circuit breaker TC1 and TC2 circuit respectively by means of 86 NO contacts 7, 8 and 9 and 10 respectively. Whenever the NIT switch in transfer position, the in fault condition 86 will operate and it will send to trip signal to bus transfer breaker by means of 7, 8 and 9, 10 of the 86 contact as shown in this diagram. Again contact 15 and 16 for inter and transfer position is taken for TBC circuit breaker closing interlock by means of 86 NC contact 11, 12 that is if 86 is operate and um, transfer uh, NIT switch is in, in inter on transfer position we cannot close the TBC circuit breaker. The contact 1 and 2 and 21 and 22 it is contact for normal position and transfer position respectively is taken for annunciator that is TTS position is wrong that is trip transfer position is wrong. Whenever no, whenever 89T that is transfer bus side isolator of its feeder is in open condition but the NIT switch position is normal condition there, there will be no enunciator to DTS position wrong but if the NIT switch is transfer position but 89T in open condition it will mm, show the enunciation TTS position wrong to the operation stop. Again, if the 89T is in closed position but NIT switch position is in normal position, it will also send enunciation to the operation operating stop to TTS position wrong. That is, the operation is wrong. The right operation is the NIT switch will be in normal position and 89T will be in open condition and also NIT switch will be in transfer position and 89T will be in closed position. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and watch other videos. Thank you.